Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, and I've got to say I'm delighted to be joined by Big Mo himself, Cody Mo Mertz, my Scott Mo Mertz, Mo Mertz, American, yeah, Mo little, Mertz, little if you're Scottish, accent. yeah, 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 yeah. there, yeah, um, just obviously I've, I've bumped into, well not bumped into you, but I saw you out in Dubai for Big Eddie Hall and Big Thor fight, and yep. now you're here in Liverpool doing the Sky Sports and Boxer MC, and how are you enjoying it? I'm loving it, it's, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun being introduced to the UK and uh, boxing here is very different than it is in America. Not that it's not popular in America, but here I think it's more of a, it's more of a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. I love the passion behind it. The fans are so into it and I love it because everything I do is about engaging with the fans and creating an atmosphere. So when the fans are really into it, it makes my job that much more fun. Let's, let's go, I want to go back then. How did you get into it and what is your background? Because yeah. you're comfortable on the mic and yeah. you're, you're obviously young. so. What's your background in all this? So I was a college football player, American football. Yep. I called it soccer in the press conference yesterday and everyone's giving me shit about it, but <laughs> American football player. Um, and at the end of my career, I started hosting live events, shows, banquets, things like that. And I had a friend of mine that said, hey, have you ever tried commentary? You're a comfortable speaker and that's a, a common transition. And at the time I was pretty burnt out of football and basketball, but I was like, you know what? I like combat sports. I like MMA, I like boxing, all that stuff. So. I'm never afraid to get told no, so I picked up the phone and I called a local promotion in Colorado and they, they brought me on as a color commentator. And I remember I saw the ring announcer, I was like, I can do that. That's, that's, I think that'll fit me better. And uh, they gave me a chance and I took that job and then that job turned into another job and then I quickly built up this persona and this brand behind it and then people started, started to recognize me from being this younger ring announcer MC and then you know, Eddie Thor happened and that was a big step for me and then that's actually where boxers saw me because uh, that kind of introduced me to the UK fans through Eddie Hall. And so one thing led to another and now I'm in Liverpool. Now you're here. It's now amazing. You're here. Definitely. And what, when, I, when I did see you at the press conference and I was saying to myself, what have I seen? What have I seen the MC before? And it, it was in Dubai, out in yep. Dubai. But yep. you mentioned there like uh, you're a college football player. But then you, you, you like combat sports. Have you always been a boxing fan? Or have you sort of, have you, are you still learning sort of like on the job in terms of who the fighters are and yeah. the history? Have you always been a boxing fan or not? So I was an MMA fan first. Um, so I definitely appreciated boxing, of course. Mm. But I think you can agree with me is that once you get m deeper into boxing, you enjoy it more. Mm. I think that boxing, there's a lot of levels to it. A lot of promotions, a lot of belts, all that kind of stuff. So from the outside looking in, I knew boxing, I understood it, I knew some of the fighters, but I didn't really have the deeper passion for it. But now that I've gotten so much more into it, it's made my fandom that much better. I think that that's what I enjoy about this so much is I'm a fan of it above anything else. Obviously I work in the industry, but it's amazing being around all these people because I'd watch them regardless if I was an announcer or not. So I would say now I'm, I'm a pretty diehard boxing fan as well. Are you fans of... Uh Bruce Buffer, Michael Buffer? Oh, huge. Yeah, I, 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 think, you be. I think they're the gold standard, respectively. I, I like to think that my style is kind of a, the middle of the road between both of them. Um, I like announcing all combat sports. I love announcing boxing as well as MMA and bare knuckle and stuff like that. And so I try to be the, be the middle of the road between both of them. So no, I, I love the Buffers. They're incredible. Hope I can work with him one day. That's what I was going to say. Like, obviously, we see like Michael does a lot of the the main event sort of stuff, and he yeah. always has sort of like an MC that does yeah. underneath him a little bit. Would that be a sort of passion of yours or a dream of yours? Yeah, in the I future? mean, I, I'm a competitor, so part of me says I'd love to. I want to do the big fights myself, but no, of course, I would love to. I would love to work with Michael and Bruce. You know, a lot of people have kind of compare me to them, which is a world of a, of a compliment. I want to be myself. I want to be Big Mo. I don't necessarily want to be Michael or Bruce, but to work with them and to learn from them and to, to kind of absorb as much as I can would be would be amazing. You know, I'm kind of this, I'm this rookie in and of a sense, this young kid that's doing it and I'm, you know, one of the younger people doing it. So any way that I can to learn from two of the best, in my opinion, the best to ever do it would be incredible. We all know that a lot of MCs have a gimmick, whether it be let's get ready to rumble, it's time from Bruce, yep. and we've known David Diamante goes, the fight starts now. So each sort of like MC has sort of like their own yeah. sort of 
their own thing, their own gimmick that they have on the spot. Yeah. Have you got one yet? Or are you still working on one? I mean, I'm I'm always a work in progress. You know, that's what's been kind of cool about this is I'm very involved in the community. I'm active on social media. I love talking to people, so I always get insight and ideas. I would say my gimmicks is uh, I like to start the show off high. So I like to do Can You Hear Me? I do some call and reactions mm -hmm. with the crowd to get them into it. And then for the main events, I do a little bit of an introduction, but my, I guess my catchphrase is get wild. Um, and basically like that's, that's my whole thing is I, I want to entertain people. I want to create an atmosphere for people. You know, I think the, the number one thing about combat sports is obviously I love the sport aspect, but the entertainment aspect is amazing too. It's why people will fill out, you know, stadiums to watch this. It's because it's a show as well as a sport. Mm. And so any way that I can do my job to, you know, encourage this atmosphere is, is obviously the best. You know, I've, I've been talking about it a lot this weekend, but, you know, when you talk to boxing promotions and you ask them who their competition is, they always say the other boxing promotions. I think it's deeper than that. I think that your competition is Netflix. Your competition is going to a concert. It's, it's watching TV. I mean, it's every other form of entertainment. So if we're asking these fans to take four or five hours of their life, or if it's a pay-per-view, to spend 60 70 80 dollars, we got to give them a reason to watch. Mm -hmm. And so the entertainment value is huge. So I want the fans engaged. I want everyone cheering. I want, you know, if, the, if there's a fight that they don't like, I want them to boo. I want that energy because that's, I think, what makes this sport amazing. You mentioned the entertainment aspect, and that's the thing. The MC now, especially nowadays, is part of the, is part of the show because of he's in the ring. He's got, like, like I said, Bruce Buff is probably the... The linchpin of all this, or maybe he started it all by saying, "Let's get the Ready Rumble back in the day." So yeah. I think that now the MC has became part of the the of show, and obviously, I think that's alluding to what you had just said there, which is the entertainment aspect of it. So it's a it's a start of your journey, yes. but I'm I'm guessing it's it's going to be fun. Yeah, you're enjoying it, no, and uh, you're going to see a lot more of the UK. I I hope so. I think uh, you know, like you said, and, and the ring announcer is a critical part. You know, I think. If, if all it was about was just introducing the fighters and reading names, then why have an announcer? Just have a guy over the PA like they do in basketball or football. There's a reason why the announcer's in the ring. There's a reason why the announcer is the individual that is the only individual that can talk to both the in in arena crowd and also those that are watching virtually. Mm. He's the only person that he or she is the only person that's doing that. So with that, there needs to be you know an engaging part of it all and. That's what I love doing. I hope that my career can go where I want to take it. I'm a competitive guy. I want to be the best announcer in the world. I want to be on the biggest platform possible. I want to entertain as many people as possible. But most importantly, I want to grow combat sports collectively. I think that it's the best sport in the world. And so the, if there's any way for me to introduce new groups of people to the sport, that's my goal. That's why Eddie Thor was awesome, mm. is because I got to help introduce boxing to the strongman community that doesn't really watch boxing. Mm -hmm. So if they're able to connect through the ring announcer, great. If they connect through the commentator, great. If they connect through the walkouts, whatever it may be, then we're succeeding. And I want to grow this sport. I want this sport to be the biggest sport in the world because I know it can do it. And uh, I just want to play my role. And so uh, I'm appreciative to people like IFL, the people that allow me to kind of do my job and support me. So thank you guys. Now listen, it's, uh, it's always fun to, to see new faces in the game and especially like the MCs because a lot of MCs, they're, they're charismatic people, let's yeah. be honest. You know what I mean? You, these are As you should well, be. Well dressed charismatic <laughs> people, let's just be honest. Every MC I've met is very, very charismatic. So yeah. I think that might be in the the CV when you apply for the job is the charisma side of things. I think it? so. I think that, that has to be it. I'm not going to lie. If you're not charismatic, this might be the wrong field yeah. for you. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, this, obviously the, the gimmick is, let's get, is it get wild? Get wild. I'll, yeah. I, I, what, I like that. Yeah, I like I'll get that. you a t-shirt. Oh, get me, yeah. I'll, I'll, I got hold you. you. I'll meet you. I got, hey, I done, got arms, you know? done. <laughs> uh, yeah, one final word. You mentioned that uh, you're, you're a competitor and you love combat sports. You ever dabbled in combat sports? A little bit. I mean, I've done training for it. I don't think I'll ever compete. Uh, blew up my shoulder playing college football, so I don't know if there's any grappling in my future, but maybe some striking here and there. It's, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm a pretty busy guy, so it's hard to, you know, to, time, to try to find time to really dedicate yourself to something. If I start something, I want to be great at it, and if I don't really have the time to do it full go, then I probably won't do it. And I get my fill doing my job. I mean, I get to sit ringside. I get to see all this stuff up close. Best seat in the house. It's best seat in the damn house. And uh, so maybe, you know, but I, I like to do it for training and to stay in shape. 
one more. I did say that was one more, but one more there. Yeah. Uh, I do like American football. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Carolina Panther fan. You mentioned Colorado. I like Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. That'd be for yep, I played Carolina against Panthers. Christian growing up. That's what I was going to ask. Yep. So being from Colorado and Christian being from Colorado, did yep. you ever So I played. Pass? I played against Christian a couple times in youth football. Uh, my alma mater, I actually played at the University of Northern Colorado. His father, Ed McCaffrey, just became the head coach there. Wow. And his older brother, Max, I think, became the receivers coach. And then I think the offensive coordinator. So, no, there's a lot of ties with the McCaffrey family. So, it's a, it's a small world. QB? I, me? Yeah. So I was an offensive lineman. I used to weigh about really? I used to weigh about 320. I've lost about 100 pounds now. Wow. Uh, so I used to be way. That's where Big Mo originated from. Right. Was, it was, you know, I used to be way bigger than I am now. I'm gonna have uh, to see some photos more. Oh yeah. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm a big dude. I was a big dude. So uh, yeah. But an offensive lineman back in the day. Interesting. I, I would have had you down for a QB or I appreciate that. something like that. I'm oh. doing a good job then, losing, <laughs> shedding this weight then if I don't look like an alignment. That was the goal. No, but listen, <laughs> you had me you, you had me convinced you were a QB and not an offensive lineman because these guys are absolute units. But yeah. listen, absolute pleasure to speak Thank to you, you and uh, tomorrow night, fight night. Good luck Showtime, with it all baby. and enjoy it. I love Showtime. it. Well, thank you to IFL. Thank you to all the, that follow me. I wouldn't have a career without you guys. Uh, my job is to entertain you guys. Everything I do is to entertain fans. I think that this industry wouldn't exist without people that want to consume the product. So everything that I do is trying to entertain you guys. And if I can do that through connections through IFL and through Boxer, then it's amazing. And this community is awesome. So thank you guys. Love what you guys do for covering the sport. And uh, let's get wild. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Let's get wild. More. My pleasure as always. Thank, Thank you, you so much, brother. Thank, Thank you, you, man. Thank Take you. It easy. Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.